guys, Crazy Postman here. So if you remember in that last video, that thousand kilometer challenge, I had some major troubles with the range estimates. Like, you know, the car would say, it's okay to leave, go ahead and leave. And if I would have trusted it, I would not have made it to my next charger. It even said I had a 12 or 13 percent buffer. Well, guess what? That 12 or 13 percent buffer turned into 3 or 4 percent buffer, or maybe none at all, by the time I would have got there. So I had to bail out at an earlier charger. Well, today, I'm going to do a another uh, probably 60 or 70 mile trip. And I wanted to see how far off the trip computer was going to estimate for today. I'm going to get on a better route planner, and I'm going to get on the Tesla nav so i'm going to fill up to a hundred percent before i leave we'll do the trip and then we'll get back and we'll see which one did the better estimate a better route planner or the tesla navigation system crazy postman here i come to you now from my car we're going to see what the in-car estimate is we're going to go in here and navigate to mom and dad's house right there so the Tesla navigation says I'm going to arrive at 85% with a round trip of 71%. Arrive at 85, round trip 71. And that's coming from the Tesla built-in navigation. On my trip, I would always fall 15 to 20% short in my range estimates. So we'll see how the Tesla one does today. The A Better Route Planner, they say that I'm going to get there with 84% and my return trip is going to be 66%. I think this is going to be a little closer than the Tesla estimate. So me and Duck are going to go to Mimi and Papa's, and we'll see if this estimate is good once we get back. So just remember, 71% for the Tesla and 66% for Better Route Planner. And Crazy Postman is estimating that we will be less than both of those. So here we go. We're continuing on our trip. I imagine we are already below. Well, it still thinks we're, we're on course here. 85 percent we'll see so we're still cruising down the uh, highway here we're about a little over half of the way to my parents house and we're still rocking 86 percent 88 percent let's check the graph it seems to be right on but we'll see when we do the complete trip consumption's been right around where it's supposed to be I guess I didn't say this trip is going to be completely done on autopilot pretty much oh wow there's, there's quite a fire going on over there we do have a little bit of wind today but this is Oklahoma so I mean that's pretty standard so I was just behind a uh, a jeep pulling a boat and its trailer came off the hitch that was crazy that's why you always want to make sure you hook your chains up the chains save this guy's boat from complete destruction since i've uh, got you all out here we'll do a quick checkup um, we're 35 miles into the trip we're still just doing autopilot and we're I guess we're doing pretty good. It's doing a lot better this time. It still says it thinks we're going to be there at 85%. We got several miles to go still, so not quite sure about that, but it, it could happen, I suppose. All right, so I got my hotspot on now. We're going to check a better route planner real quick. It, uh, uh oh, what happened? 
it's still thinking I'm going to be there. It thinks 84%. know that it has live information though but I need to I'm about to exit the highway here so I'm gonna have to stop this for a little bit all right just a quick update here we are at 84 percent sitting here at uh, mom and dad's house or I guess uh, duck knows them as Mimi and Papa yeah we're at Mimi and Papa's house he's kind of excited and ready to get out so I'm gonna get out here and spend a few hours with them and we'll finish this trip in just a little bit. We're at 84%. All right, so we're finished with our visit. Me and Duck are ready to go home. And let me show you just to prove that I didn't go anywhere. There you go. We're still at 84% and sitting at 41.2 miles. Let's head home. said 66 percent yeah we've already uh, missed what the Tesla estimated round trip but the better route planner looks like it's gonna be pretty close to right on the money but we got a little ways yet to go uh, I just came over a hill here I just wanted to show you how dusty it is because all that cotton harvesting that's going on and the, a little bit of wind we had today the dirt fields Man, they are just, it is really dusty in the air right now. Well, here we are back in the driveway at the end of the trip. Let me show you what the ending mileage is. 66%. So for our total trip, we went 82 miles at 280 watt hours per mile. That's actually below my average. Let me show you. I, I normally average about 300, low 300s, but man, I was pretty low today. Like I said, there was a little bit of a, a wind, so I might have had a tailwind today. But yeah, 66%. So let's go inside and uh, we'll close this out on the inside. So we made it back to the house. I thought... Um, it was going to be a little worse, but the Tesla did miss by about 5%. It said I was going to get back at 71% and I got back at 66%. But on the other side of the coin, a better route planner said I was going to get back with 66% and I got back with 66%. That is crazy how accurate that was. I thought it was going to be less. I was expecting low 60s to be honest but a better route planner hit it right on the head the tesla nav estimate was off by five percent now that's not as bad as it was the other day if you want to see how bad it was the other day just watch my thousand kilometer challenge it was off by 10 to 15 percent twice that day uh today's video is kind of a, a hit and miss because i thought it was going to be bigger 
difference than what it was. A better route planner hit it right on the head. The Tesla nav was off by about 5%. So just remember when you're planning a trip, it may say you're going to arrive with 7%, but you're, you're going to want more buffer than that. Don't trust the navigation to the percent or even to the 5%. You're going to want to give yourself a little bit more of a buffer just to play it safe for environmental factors, you know, wind, rain will increase it. But I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video.